Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francesca and today I will be getting in this dynamic fluid practice that focuses both on strength and flexibility. Before we start, make sure to leave me a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as it really helps me with the algorithm and YouTube. When you're ready, we're going to start in a child's pose. You can widen the knees and lower the forehead down on the ground as you extend the arms in front of you. Close your eyes and take this moment to arrive into the mat, into the practice. Softening here as you let go of any unwanted tension. Bringing the attention to the breathing. Start to take long deep breath in and out through the nose. Shifting more and more the awareness inward, the awareness to the body. And then when you're ready, start to walk with the hands towards the right side. Keep the forehead down and focus on lengthening through the left side. Then transition back to the center, let's go to the other side. Hands towards the left as you lengthen through the right side. Just hold it here for one more deep breath. And then slowly back to the center. Place the weight onto the fingertips as you lift the palms off the ground. Now round through the spine, start to transition into a tabletop position. Hips forward and open through the chest arch. And as you exhale, hips back into an active child's pose. And keep repeating these waves, moving between this active child's pose and tabletop position. And if you would like, you can also do more free movements, maybe creating some waves and some circle. Focusing on creating space into the upper back, into your hips and into the lower back. Then slowly transition in a neutral position. Tuck your toes, lift the knees, hips up and back, down dog. Take a moment to your down dog as you set to here, as you take long deep breath in and out. Then running through the spine, make your way forward into a plank and hold. Hips up and back, down dog. Let's repeat again, forward into plank and hold, deep breath in and out. Then as you exhale, hips up and back, down dog. And keep moving between plank and down dog as you activate through the breath, as you activate the core. Then as you hold here into plank, keep pushing the ground away, slowly shifting the weight a little bit more forward. Now drop the knees down on the ground, tabletop position. Arch through the spine as you look up and keeping the hips in line with the knees, walk forward with the hands. Lower the four down towards the ground in an extended puppy pose. Keep pushing the chest towards the floor as you draw the shoulder blades together. As you take long deep breath in and out. Just one more deep breath here as you create even more space into the upper back, into your shoulders. And now as you exhale, drop the elbows down, slide forward, make your way into a sphinx pose. The key here is to try to keep activating, drawing the shoulder blades together, elevating the chest even higher as you keep the glutes engaged. Holding here just for one more deep breath. And as you exhale, we're going to tuck the toes, lift up into a forearm plank, or option to come into dolphin, so hips up towards the ceiling, walk with the feet towards the elbows. Push the ground away, keep holding wherever you are, using the breath. Be mindful that you're stronger than you think. And before giving up, try to focus on breathing a little bit deeper. Then as you exhale, release, well done, make your way into your down dog. Shift the gaze forward and take a small steps as you bring the feet in between the hands, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Unroll the spine as you rise up, guide the arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. Make your way at the top of the mat, roll the shoulders back. Hina, arms up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands down on the ground. Hina, halfway lift, hands on the floor and step back into plank. Chaturanga, bend your arms. As you inhale, open the chest, cobra or up dog. Exhale, roll of your chest back into your down dog. 
Deep breath in and out. Option to stay. Option to drop the forearm down back into dolphin. Any variation is completely fine. Just keep breathing here. Fully and deeply. One last deep breath wherever you are. And as you exhale, down dog. Gaze forward, step or jump, halfway lift at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Unroll the spine, arms up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, fold again, hands down on the floor. Halfway lift, lengthen. Hands on the ground, step or jump back to plank into Chaturanga Dandasana. Arch as you open. And as you exhale, roll over your toes, back into your down dog. Deep breath in and out. Same variation as before, you can stay or you might want to bring the forearm down on the ground. There is no right or wrong here, so you can modify as much as you want. Even come into a child's pose if you like to take a break. Come back to the breath. Then back into a down dog if you're not there. Gaze forward, step or jump. Half will lift to the top of the mat. As you exhale, fold with fold. Unroll the spine as you rise up, extend the arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, release Tadasana Mantan pose. Then bend the legs, arms up, Utkatasana Cha. Exhale, fold. Option to stay, option to make your way into your crow pose. Step or jump back, Chaturanga. Open the chest, Cobra up dog as you look up and lengthen. And as you exhale, roll of your toes back into your down dog. Deep breath in and out. Then lift the right leg up, three leg down dog. Bend as you open the hip. As you exhale, step right foot in between the hands. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling, high lunge. Bending deeply through the front leg. As you exhale, cactus your arms as you go even deeper. And then extend the legs and the arms. Again, cactus as you go deeper and extend reaching higher. One last time, cactus as you go deeper and then open. Now bring the arms forward, left arm underneath, right arm on top. Find the opposite hands or wrist, ego arms. Shift the way forward as you balance onto the right leg, warrior three. Keep the chest open. And as you exhale with control, guide the left leg on top of the right for ego legs as well. If you like to modify, you can always do that. Option one, staying here, making your way a little bit lower. Option two, hands down on the ground into a side crow modified. Wherever you are is completely fine. And we're going to all meet back into our ego pose. Then back into warrior three, we've been here before. And step left foot back, high lunge. Separate the feet, create more distance as you drop the left knee towards the ground. Hold it here for a moment. And as you exhale, release all the way down on the floor. Hands up and over the head, open through the chest. As you exhale, extend the right leg, half split. Hands on the mat as you guide the belly towards the thigh. Take a moment here to reconnect with the breathing and to slow down. Then bend the right leg, left hand on the floor, right arm up towards the ceiling. Reach back, find your left foot, guide the heel towards your glute. Doing your quad stretch here, keep twisting towards the right side. Deep breath in and out, and as you exhale, release. And step back into a supported side plank. Other option would be to step into a full side plank. See the option that you prefer, hold it here, pushing the ground away as you elevate the hips even higher. Deep breath in and out. Option to hold, option to make you into wild things, so right foot behind the left. Arch through the spine, gaze follows the right hand as you elevate the hips even higher. Exhale, release, back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, bend your arms. As you inhale, open through the chest, go brow up dog. And as you exhale, roll over your toes back into your down dog. Deep breath in and out. Lift the left leg up. Bend, stack the knee on top of the hip. As you exhale, step left foot in between the hands and rise up into a high lunge. So we've been here before on the other side. Keep the gaze to a steady point as you exhale, cactus your arms and bend the legs deeper, then rising higher. Again, cactus your arms as you go deeper 
and rising back up and higher. One more time, cactus your arms, go a little bit deeper, open through the chest. Then eagle arms, this time right arm underneath, left arm up. Preparing to transition to warrior three, balance onto the left leg as you reach up with the right foot. Muamu di breath. Then as you exhale, rise up with the chest, guide the right leg up and we'll cross it over the left leg into eagle legs. You got the option to stay or even the option to look it down closer to the ground, maybe hands on the floor, maybe transition into your side crow modified. Doesn't matter how far you take this, just make it accessible for you wherever you are. We're going to meet back into the eagle legs. And as you exhale, start to extend again the right leg behind you into your warrior three. Take a big step back, high lunge. Now start to separate the feet, slowly dropping the right knee towards the floor as you elevate the chest even higher. And as you exhale, find the ground. Release the arms as you reach up and back with the hands, take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, extend the left leg belly towards the thigh. Allow the head to be heavy, deep breath in and out through the nose. Slow the breathing down, slow the heart beat down. Then bend the left leg, right hand down, left arm up towards the ceiling, and reach back, find your right foot as you get the heel towards your glute. Keep holding onto this twist, shifting the gaze up and back. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Then as you exhale, release, and step back either into a supported side plank or a full side plank. Again, same option that you did on the other side. Holding onto the balance. Option to stay, option to make you into one thing. So left foot behind the right leg as you arch through the spine. Gaze follows the left hand. And as you exhale, slowly release. Make your way back into your plank. Take a moment here to arrive and to pause. Push the ground away. And then as you exhale, move it all the way down towards the ground. Move the hips side to side. Then interlace the fingers behind the back, palms together, and start to lift the head, the shoulder and the feet off the ground as you activate the entire back of the body into your Shalambhasana. Keeping everything active, everything engaged, deeper in and out. Elevating a little bit higher just for one last deep breath. And as you exhale, release, lower all the way down, shift the gaze to the side, take a moment in stillness. Move the hips side to side, letting go of any unwanted tension. Then start to make your way into a child's pose, running through the spine. Two deep breaths here. Last one. And then slowly start to make your way back into a down dog, hips up and back, deep breath in and out. Then lift the right leg up, three leg down dog. As you exhale, bend, knee on top of the hip, hold. Or you start to make your way into a wild thing, right leg over the left. Open through the chest and shift the gaze over the right hand. Option three, you can make your way into a wheel. Wherever you are, it's completely fine. Let's stay here for one more deep breath, creating space. Then release back into a three leg down dog. As you exhale, knee to left elbow. Extend the right leg out and long. Lift the left hand up to the sky, full and star. Elevating the hips higher to the breath here. Then shift the gaze to the ground, left hand on the floor, back into a three leg down dog. As you exhale, shift the gaze forward and step, right foot in between the hands, arms over the head, high lunge. Cactus your arms as you go a little bit deeper and extend the arms reaching higher. Again, cactus your arms, go deeper and up. And last one, cactus your arms. Now make your way into your ego arms, left arms underneath the right, hold the position. And as you exhale, start to lean forward into a warrior three. Balancing onto the right leg, lift the left leg higher. Then guide the left knee to the chest and wrap it on top of the right. Come to sit a little bit lower into legal legs. Release, extend the arms up. Slowly transition into a dancer pose. Find your left foot, right arm up and start to kick up and away with it. Elevating the chest higher, holding here for two. In and out through the nose, last one. And as you exhale, release back into your warrior three and step back into warrior two. Gaze follows the right hand, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
sinking a little bit deeper as you take a little bit more space. Rotate the right palm up towards the ceiling, bring the arm over the head as you lengthen through the side of the body. Heart reverse warrior. Reverse warrior. Then rise back up. Right forearm to the right leg, left arm reaches over the head, lengthening through the side. Keeping the chest open, the side open without rounding. Option to stay, option to find your bind. Connecting the right and the left hand, opening through the chest even more. Hold wherever you are, creating space, so either with your bind or with the forearm. And as you exhale, shift the gaze to the ground. Making your way into your half moon, right hand on the floor. Extending the left arm up towards the ceiling as you keep the hips open. Keep elevating through the left leg. Balancing. Option to stay. Option to come into your chapasana. So bind the left leg, find your foot and start to kick up and away. Find a constant and steady kick. Then as you exhale, release. Take a big step back. Transition it back into your warrior two. Preparing for skandhas and extend the right leg, bend the left. Make your way towards the end of the mat. Keeping the chest open, find your twist. Option to stay or to make your way to sit on the ground. If you're sitting on the ground, find your left ankle and reach over the head with the right arm. Go in the direction of the right foot. Keeping the chest open. Lengthening through the side of the body, deeper in and out through the nose. And then as you exhale, release. Slowly start to make your way back up. And let's transition towards the top of the mat. Left hand on the ground, right arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze follows the right hand. Take more space here, lowering the hips even more if possible. Do the breath. Option to hold, option to make your way into your side plank. Right foot on top of the left. Lifting the hips high wherever you are, keep the gaze forward. And as you exhale, release right hand on the ground, back into a normal plank. Chaturanga, bend your arms. Hina, open the chest, cobra or ab dog. And as you exhale, roll of your toes back to your down dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Then lift the left leg up, three leg down dog. And as you exhale, bend, stack the knee on top of the hip. Option one, stay and hold. Option two, make your way into your wild thing. Open the chest, shift the gaze over towards the left hand. Imagine you want to touch the ground and if this is accessible, you can transition into your wheel pose. Using the breath to create space, deep breath in and out. Wherever you are, start to make your way back into a three leg down dog, lifting the left leg higher. Exhale, knee to right elbow as you twist. Then extend the left leg out along and lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, falling star. Hold onto this twist as you elevate the hips even higher to the breath. Then release the right hand on the ground. Make your way back into a plank and then step left foot in between the hands, arms up towards the ceiling high lunge. Come and sit a little below as you cactus your arms, go deeper and extend the arms up. Again, cactus as you go deeper and reach it higher. Last one, cactus go deep as open through the chest. Then hold the legs as you are and cross left arm on top of the right, eagle arms. Start to lean forward, warrior three, balancing onto the left leg, keep the gaze to a steady point. Lift the right leg a little bit higher and then start to lift it up, right leg crosses on top of the left, eagle legs. Playing with your balance here. So it doesn't matter if you lose your balance, then release, preparing for then the pose. Find your right foot, left arm up. Option to hold, option to start to kick up and away. As you start to lean forward with the chest, right foot kicks up and back. And as you exhale, release. Arms up and step back into warrior two. Gaze follows the left hand. Take a moment here, coming to sit a little bit deeper into the pose. Gaze steady. Then rotate the left palm up towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. Lengthening through the side of the body as you bend through the front leg a little bit deeper. Release left forearm onto the left thigh, right arm reaches over the head. 
like before you can decide whether you want to stay here or maybe you can find your bind. Whatever option you choose is completely fine. We're going to hold it as you breathe and create space. As an option, you can also place the left hand on the ground. Then release, half moon, leaning forward, balancing onto the left foot as you lift the right leg up. And if at any point you lose a balance, it doesn't matter, just hold it there. Option to stay, option to make your way into your chapasana, bend the right leg, find your right foot and start to kick up and away, creating space into the front hip. As you exhale, release the right foot and move control, step back into your warrior two. Preparing for skandhas and extend the left leg, bend the right, make your way at the end of the mat. Option to stay and hold, option to come and sit on the floor. Right foot on the ground, find the right ankle with the left hand and reach over the head with the right arm. Keeping the chest open, lengthening through that side of the body. Be mindful that it doesn't matter how far and deep you go. Just make this accessible for you. One last deep breath here. And as you exhale, release, rise back up. Slowly make your way back into a skandhasana. And then transitioning towards the top of the mat, right hand on the floor, left arm up as you twist towards the left side. Gaze follows the left hand. Creating some space in between the feet so you lower the hips a little bit more. Option to hold, option to make your way into a side plank. Lifting the hips high, engaging through the core, staying here. And then as you exhale, release left hand on the ground. Bend your arms as you lower down, Chaturanga. Open the chest, Cobra, or Up Dog. And as you exhale, roll of your toes back into your Down Dog. Deep breath in and out through the nose, lengthening through the spine. Then shift the gaze towards the top of the mat and make your way at the top of the mat in a kneeling position, coming to sit onto the heels, close your eyes for a moment. Taking this moment to come back to the breath, to slow the breathing down, the heartbeat down. Then open your eyes and lift the glutes up, place the hands behind your back, make your way into Strasana Kamal Pose. You can stay here if this is already intense, otherwise you can tuck your toes and find your heels. Just make sure to keep pushing forward with the hips as you engage the glutes, elevating the chest higher. As a third option, you can always untuck the toes so the heels come a little bit lower as well. Just stay here as you breathe in and out through the nose. And whenever you're ready, slowly start to rise back up, make your way back to sit onto the heels, close your eyes for a moment, noticing any sensation arising from the spine, from within. Bringing the mind back to the present moment. Then open your eyes and make your way to sit on the ground, legs forward. Keep the legs bent for a moment and slowly start to lift both feet off the ground, both pose. Opening through the chest, option to stay. The other option, you can find your big toes and start to extend the legs out along, playing with your balance. You don't have to fully extend the legs as I am doing here, but make it again accessible to your flexibility. Keeping the spine extended, the opening the chest. And as you exhale, release, heels down on the ground, exhale, fold, find your feet and releasing here. Lengthening through the spine, allowing the head to be heavy. Just stay here for one more deep breath. Then release. Rise back up and slowly start to lower down. One vertebrae after the other one. Allowing the back to touch the ground, reach over the head with the arm, take a deep breath in through the nose, finding the lengthening, big stretch here. And as you exhale, hug both knees to the chest, giving yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, forward towards the knees, and release the head down. Relaxing the back on the mat, now widen the knees, and find your big toes or your ankle for a nappy baby. Legs can stay bent, you can extend them out along. 
And if you want, you can start to gently swing side to side as you give a nice massage to your spine. Then as you exhale, release. Keep the right knee to the chest as you extend the left leg out and long. Guiding the right knee a little bit closer and as you exhale, twist the right knee over the left leg. Gaze follows the right hand. Just stay here for one more deep breath. And slowly start to make your way back to the center. Again, squeeze both knees into the chest, gently swing inside to side. And this time, keep the left knee in as you extend the right leg out along, deep breath in. Exhale, twist, gaze follows the left hand. Holding onto your twist of three deep breath, allowing your spine to lengthen. And slowly back to the center, squeeze the knees in just one last time. Exhale, extend the legs out and long, make your way into your Shabasana. Closing the eyes, allowing the body to relax, take a deep breath in through the nose, hold. Big cleanse inside out through the mouth. <sighs> Keeping the eyes closed and taking this moment in stillness. Giving time to your body to take in all the benefits of the practice. And you can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like. Otherwise, if you're ready to end the practice here, slowly start to come back to the breathing, doing gentle movement to awaken the body again. Taking the time to extend gratitude towards yourself for showing up today, to your body for this movement, for this practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. And if you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you tomorrow back on the mat. Namaste.